Hi everyone, welcome to week 24 of my second pregnancy and I'm sorry that last week I was MIA again um, for week 23. Um, <clears throat> luckily not a lot pregnancy wise was going on um, last week but I was really busy with a whole lot of other stuff and um, also we are still sick so um, I was pretty busy doing all that sort of stuff. Hi Baba. But yeah, um, so lots um, of other stuff has been going on, but nothing pregnancy wise. So I'm um, 24 weeks pregnant today and starting to struggle. Um, I have been having really bad heartburn, um, incredibly painful that has been playing up at night time, like during the middle of the night, um, cannot get any sleep, just, just painful, like really painful. Um, so I had quite a bit of that last week. I've had it on and off this week. Um, on top of that, I've got this horrible cold that just won't seem to budge. So now I've got a sore throat and everything that I'm sort of battling with as well. So. Um, it's kind of um, calmed down a bit um, the last few days um, but something that is really really um, getting to me now and is making it hard to um, do really simple tasks is <clears throat> I can't breathe I just cannot breathe at all um, and I know you have you get out of breath quite easily when you're pregnant, um, but I just just so constant now. Um, I feel like it's just going to keep getting worse um, because you know, baby's going to keep growing and taking up space and everything. So I've um, been feeling very out of breath. Can't seem to catch my breath. Um, I feel like I'm not getting enough air in, not getting enough air out. I just I can't get it to sort of cooperate um, so that's been quite um, hard to deal with especially doing things um, with AJ and um, even general stuff around the house um, gen doing general chores like carrying um, a basket of washing from the laundry room to um, the washing line outside or um, anywhere it's just like like I just even sitting now I feel very constricted um, in my breathing lying down doesn't seem to help um, you know if I'm sitting it's constricting you know my sort of my waist area but if I'm lying down all the pressure of my growing belly and everything is sort of getting thrusted onto my chest um, so either way, it's not comfortable at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is really sort of a a conscious in and out motion, which of course is not being made any easier by the fact that I have a cold. So yeah, um, <sighs> but there's not much I can do about any of that. Um, just try and get rid of this cold that I've got. Um, and hopefully that'll help it a bit. Um, <clears throat> I'm really, um, in the next sort of three or four days, I'm going to be purchasing a yoga DVD. <clears throat> I've intended to do it um, long before now, but other expenses have gotten in the way that um, were far more um, necessary than um, a DVD but I'm going to um, put my foot down and say no I need to get a yoga DVD um, to see if I can help this breathing thing um, I've done yoga before <coughs> um, like not pregnancy yoga but just normal different kinds of yoga before and I found it um, was really good for just I don't know I felt limber I felt flexible I felt like sort of opened me up um, on the inside 
So um, I'm really hoping that will help sort of open my lungs up, open some airways and um, stretch me out a bit, um, my muscles and things to see if we can sort of gain a bit of extra room. So um, I'm hoping I'll be able to purchase that this week coming up and hopefully I'll have it. But yeah, on top of that, still really exhausted I am. Some days I feel like I am the walking dead. I just, I'm just on auto um, mode and get to the end of the day and I really don't remember <laughs> what I did that day. Um, just things like that. I'm trying to get as much sleep at night as I possibly can without um, overdoing it and making myself feel worse. And I'm trying to get a, you know sleep during the day, um, but this I don't have as much control over that as I used to, because um, AJ is reaching the age where he doesn't actually need to sleep every single day. Um, today he slept for the first time in a long time, actually, um, but he's not feeling very well either. So yeah. Everything is just sort of a little bit crazy at the moment. Um, last week I had, I mean I'm still having them now but not as bad. I'm having some real body image anxiety um, this pregnancy and I didn't really think I would because when, when um, in my last pregnancy once I actually started to show and had a bump and things, it was really, I really enjoyed it because I didn't have a bump for so long. Um, last pregnancy, and the same again with this pregnancy. You know, and it's only in the last couple of weeks I've actually popped and I'm staying that way. Um, so, um, yeah, I didn't think I would have body image um, anxiety or issues or anything like that this time around but I just I don't know I don't know whether it's because I also just feel so exhausted um, physically and mentally probably as well and you know I'm having um, I guess you could, not issues but I'm having other uh, pregnancy symptoms and things this time around that I didn't have last time around that are sort of just piling on one another um, and I'm not getting the rest that I want to get and so I'm not feeling very good so I don't feel very good so I don't feel like I look very good and it's all a big circle of craziness. Um, I have plenty of cute stuff that I can wear to try and make myself feel better but it's it's definitely something that I didn't think I would be struggling with this time around and I just um, have definitely been feeling a lot of like blurness all the time um, you know I promised myself that I would make the effort this time around to um, make myself look good um, every day so that I could feel good and things but when you wake up in the morning and you're exhausted already it's just like you just, you just can't be bothered um, but yeah I guess that, that's something that um, I guess every pregnant woman goes through in some way or form um, in some degree I suppose um, and it is sort of it is uh, starting to dawn on me about you know like we have to work really hard after I have this baby to get back into shape um, or get into shape at all I've never really been in shape um, but I definitely will need to be this time around to be able to have the energy to keep up with two people um, you know the demands and needs of two people so um, not to mention you know 
my husband and the house and just doing every other job that um, you do as a parent and as a partner and things like that. So, um, so yeah, lots of different things that just seem to be piling on me the last couple of weeks and it just... I think it's just all becoming too much emotionally because physically I'm just feeling so drained and so ugh. And um, yeah, I think it's just all, um, it all came to a head really last week and I just felt really, really horrible. So on, you know, a much more exciting note um, than all this complaining I've been doing, which I don't I don't like complaining, but sometimes you just need to vent and you just need to be real, I guess, about what's going on. Um, this baby boy just loves to move. He is very busy in there. Um, keeps me entertained. <laughs> and it is really nice to be able to feel him moving. Like, a lot. Oh, the cow fell. Um, really big, bold movements, you know, kicks and punches or whatever he's doing in there. Um, and I'm starting to feel kind of like the rolling sensation a bit. Um, that is harder to feel purely because my placenta is in front, so that would be much more muffled. But, um... I don't think my, my placenta is not in the way very much at all as far as me feeling and seeing those kicks and whatever he's doing bouncing off the walls in there and um yeah I'm, I can see it I can feel it it's um it's just really nice to you know know he's there and he's obviously doing fine because he's very busy. I see my midwife in a couple of weeks um, and then I won't see her again for um, a month 